Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial and I will show you in this tutorial how to create Power BI funnel chart. So funnel chart, first of all what is funnel chart and how, to, how does it look like and when you are going to use it. I will show you in a minute and before that this sheet which I am showing you over here is present in the description. So if you want to use it by you know for searching a particular tutorial if you need as well as in future also I will going to you know continue uh, documenting the information and as you can see the link is also present. So this information will be present to you uh, in the description and you can go ahead and search it. Alright so what is funnel chart? Let's go ahead within Power BI and see it. Alright so here we have an example of a funnel chart. However the funnel chart is mainly useful or the way the basic purpose it was created is to basically show how much uh, opportunity let's say you are in a sales domain and you are create you are bringing the sales prospects and those sales prospects have to go through the various cycle or the various stages so each bar here basically represent the stage in which it goes through so for example you have generated the prospect you did some negotiation and then the second prospect is you know doing the documentation third is doing the negotiation and finalizing it and fourth is finally closing the prospect so it shows that in each stage what is the value or what is the count of opportunities that is being uh, filtered or that is being reduced and then finally how many closed opportunities you have so if you know the size is going really down let's say for example like this in the fourth stage that means you are generating a lot of prospects but they are not resulting into the closed or the booked uh, book prospects however uh, if it is something like uh, you are starting here and this is your fourth and the final prospect that means whatever prospect you are building is the quality one so almost close to 80 percent of the prospects is being booked in your case or closed in your case but here I have taken a slightly different example just so that I can show you how how you can create it that's the main idea but uh, that's the reasoning behind I, I try to give you why uh, you would really require a funnel chart so over here what we have is uh, funnel chart representation by the product subcategory and each in each bar here represents the uh, how much sales that is being generated in each category so that can be a separate uh, uh, and another way or in, in another creative way of uh, creating a bar chart in this scenario in the uh, shape of a funnel so that you if let's say you are not really interested in look showing the regular bar chart in your dashboard and want to make it a little bit more um eye catchy then you can probably use even this one so the way you were going to do that is or how you were going to create it from the scratch so first of all i'll just delete it and over here you have this funnel chart so once we will click over here and expand it let me try to expand it so what it asks is basically the group group is nothing but the dimension by which you want it to be grouped so what i want is the product subcategory the value is something we can choose sales or we can choose profit based on how we want to create it. So once we choose this, it will going to create the funnel chart based on the default settings. So these are over some of the default settings. If you want to add tool tips like along with the uh, right now what we are getting is the sales percent of first or percent of previous uh, this this particular bar. Is something that we are getting but if you want to add more tooltips let's say we want to add profit into it so we can just add the profit um, I'll just click profit and profit is now added so now you know the profit information if you will see is coming at the end so that's up to us how many tooltips what we want and there is an option that you can choose some average and couple of more uh, measures that is being given which you can select Okay, so once we have this information, we can format it the way we want. So for example, we can go over here right now. The category option is enabled and category is in the black color. If you don't want to show it and just want to show this, you can in, uh, make it off. And if you enable it, it will start showing you. Also, you have 
the option of choosing the text size and font family. Then you have the option of doing the data color. Right now the default color is this green color. However, I can go ahead and choose. I guess this is the one I was showing you. Also, you have option of, uh, you know, choosing the color based on some measure. So if I click over here, it will show you a screen, which is color scale count of based on the field. So based on what field, let's say we want to make it by profit. So based on sum of profit, summarization is sum, default formatting is zero, lowest value is red and highest value is green and we'll click OK. So once we'll click OK, you will start seeing that this prof, this category, the tables, even though it is the second highest category, but from the profit perspective, it is not doing really well. However, if you will see binders and binders accessories is basically the the good profitable one. Similarly, the case, this is here that it's a good profitable one. So that's basically uh, the added advantage you can have with the conditional coloring or the conditional formatting in this case using the profit. If you want to remove this, there is this erase button with which you can remove it. We have these data labels on and uh, it shows right now if you don't want it, you can uncheck this, but you would definitely want to have it. So always, you know, make it enabled. Then you have the conversion. Uh, conversion is nothing but this conversion uh, over here. So what it shows is basically the color or the tax size and the DN family. So leave it default for now, but in specific case, if you may want to change it, you can change it. However, other like title, background, border, shadow and everything is, is, is very regular one. I hope you have been using it and, but if you have any question, you can, you can let me know and we can, uh, think about in your particular scenario as to how to, uh, achieve it from the formatting perspective, but that's very quickly about uh, how you can use the funnel chart. So what I suggest in the end, the way you use it in the funnel chart is basically to show the progression, uh, that is into the stages. For example, a project goes into the stages or like I mentioned, the sales prospects goes into the stages and we want to clearly see how much impact each stage is making. And finally, what we have from the perspective of that final stage in that scenario, it will be much more impactful as compared to this one. However, here, I just wanted to show you how easily you can create it. So that's about it. And now I'll meet you in the next topic.